Hey guys, welcome back to Tiffero, it's me Matt here and today I'm bringing you a special exercise to try out in your lucid dreams. Now this was originally going to be a lucid dreaming challenge video like my other challenge videos, but the thing about this challenge is that it's something that you should try and keep doing and try and keep getting better at because it's going to help you in three areas. It's going to help you with stabilizing your dreams, it's going to help you improve your dream control and it's also going to help your ability to visualize things and recall things from visual memory. So the aim of this exercise or challenge is to take an object in a dream and make it as stable as you possibly can. So what do I mean by this? What do I mean by making a particular object stable? Well, in your dreams, as you've probably noticed, everything is sort of in this constant state of flux. If you approach a bookcase and you look at the books on the shelf and then you walk away and you come back, the books might be in a different order. They might be none of the same books. There might not even be a bookcase anymore. You might be in a completely different location. And that's because of how things are constantly shifting and changing around you in the dream. So in this exercise, pick an object, ideally something that is small enough for you to pick up and examine closely. And you are going to try and make that object stable so that when you walk away and come back, the object is exactly as you left it. So first of all, you're going to want to get into a lucid dream. And then you're going to want to choose an object. Now you could spawn something yourself, but I'm going to suggest just picking up anything in the dream scene around you. The only thing I will say is probably try to pick something that isn't covered in lots of text because text is even more liable to change on you when you look away and look back. So trying to stabilize a piece of paper with writing on it or something like that is going to be much, much more difficult, maybe even impossible. Pick something fairly simple. Like I said, maybe a tennis ball, maybe a pillow, maybe your phone or your computer mouse or a rock or a pebble or something like that. And the first thing that I want you to do is just to pick this object up and look at it really, really closely. Examine it from all angles. Turn it around in your hands. Get a feel for how it feels in your hands. Make sure you look at every side of it. Try to take in all of the details to the point that if you closed your eyes, if you were awake right now, you could imagine this object perfectly. Once you've done that, set the object down somewhere on the floor in the middle of the room or wherever you are and step back so that you're a few meters away from it. Or if it's a slightly larger object, then step back a bit further. You wanna step back until the object is a little bit smaller, but you know, you can still see it. You just can't see all of the little details maybe, but you wanna keep it in your line of sight. And while you're looking at it, try to think about those little details that maybe you can't make out from this distance away and try to keep all of those in your mind. Basically keep the entire image of the object and all sides of it in your mind as best as possible. Now at this point, I want you to actually go over to the object, pick it up again and see if anything has changed. Now this entire time, you should have kept your eyes on the object all of the time, because like I said, things change very easily in dreams. So when you're starting out with this, you want to be looking at the object the entire time. What you might find is that when you go back to pick it up again, it still might have changed somewhat. You know, maybe some of the details are in the wrong place, or maybe it looks fine from one side, but you turn it over and the back side of it is completely different. If that does happen, just try to take in the object again and start from square one. Examine the object very, very closely. Try to get a clear mental image of it. Step back a bit. Try to keep that mental image as you're looking at it. Then approach it and pick it up and see if it looks the same. Now keep doing this and don't worry if this takes a whole heap of different dreams to keep doing, but try to get this to the point where you can look at that object, pick it up, examine it closely, step back, look at it just from a distance, come back, pick it up again, examine it from all angles and find that it looks pretty much identical to what you first picked up. Now, if you get this first try or you get this fairly easily, it could be that you're a natural at this or it could be that you picked a very, very easy object. You know, let's say that you did pick a tennis ball well, it's a relatively simple shape and there isn't a whole lot that's likely to change about it because your imagination isn't really expecting, you know, the other side of a tennis ball to suddenly change color when you pick it up or anything like that. So if you do have complete success early on, try this with a few other objects and experiment, you know, maybe pick up something that's a little bit more complex in shape or that has more different colors or maybe even pick up something that does have a tiny bit of writing on it, but emphasis on the tiny part. Like if you pick up a book and it's just like a picture and one word on it, then that might work. But you know, don't pick up a piece of paper that's got an essay written on it and expect the words to actually stay the same. Now, once you've repeated this with a few things and you've been able to keep them stable so long as your eyes have remained on them, now you wanna make one simple change to the procedure. You wanna to go to the object, pick it up, examine it closely as normal, try to get a clear image of it in your mind, and then you want to step away, but this time you want to turn around, look away and look back. 
First of all, you're going to see if the object is even still there. And if it is, there's a good chance that it's going to have changed, even if you were previously having no changes at all in the object when you were approaching it again. Because the moment you look away, your brain is sort of recycling that part of the dream. And so a lot of things are going to change. And one of those things may be the object in question if you haven't got it very firmly held in your mind. Now, while earlier you were practicing to keep something stable while you kept your eyes on it, now you're also practicing your ability to believe that that object is going to be there exactly as you expect it to be when you turn back around. You're also honing your ability to visualize that object and to keep it in your visual memory so that when you do turn around, none of the details have changed. Again, don't worry if you don't get this first time or if it even takes quite a lot of times and quite a lot of practice to get there. Because each time you repeat this exercise, you're going to be building those dream control muscles and you're essentially going to be better at keeping some persistence in objects, characters, locations and so on in your dream so that you're not subject to the whims of the dream as you turn around and the scenery is shifting around you. You will be able to decide, hey, I want these particular objects to be with me throughout this dream and you will know how to keep them there and stable. If you'd like to learn in more detail about dream control and how to create your own dream control techniques, or perhaps you'd just like to learn how to lucid dream in the first place, then you should definitely get your hands on the lucid dream book. There'll be a link to it in the top right hand corner or down in the description below if you want to find out more. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and enable all notifications if you want to stay up to date with my videos. And if you want to keep watching, check out one of those videos on screen. Go watch that and I'll see you there soon. Take care.